hello guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here you're welcome and i hope you are doing well so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful natural looking crochet wig so with that said let's jump right into the video The link to everything I use in this video will be in the description box below, so be sure to check the description box. Okay, so to start, go ahead and take the hair. So you want to start by crocheting the hair along the edge of the black caps. So pass your regular crochet hook through one hole along the edge of the black cap. Hook the hair, pass it through the, the lace. Hook the hair, pass it through the loop. Again, hook the hair, pass it through the loop. So right here, I'm doing the double knot uh, crochet. So as you can see, I'm focusing on the edge of the wig cap. Also, I'm spacing the, the hair out on the black cap using my finger as a guide. So it's, um, the space between is one finger, like my index finger. I'm using that as a guide to space out the hair evenly. And also when crocheting the hair, you want to make sure that the next one you crochet on top falls in between the space on the bottom. So that will help to fill up the gap without using too much hair. So again, as you can see right here, I'm showing you the space between the each crochet uh, hair. And also you want to make sure that the amount of hair you are using all throughout the cap is the same so this will also help to ensure that you have enough hair so you won't have some that are too big some that are too small at the end of the day you will have enough hair to finish up your project so just maintain the amount of hair you are using and also make sure to space the hair out evenly on the black cap so once you get uh, to the lace area you want to make sure to uh, reduce the, the size of the hair you use for that part of the cap. So right here. And also if you want, you can do a single knot method on the last row close to the lace.
So to start ventilating the hair, you're going to need a tiny amount of the curly hair, okay? A tiny amount. You don't want to take too much hair, just a little bit of hair. Go ahead and fold it over and let's create a loop just like this, as you can see, just like that. Okay, so to ventilate the hair, you need to pass the ventilating needle through one hole on the lace. So next, hook two strands of hair and pull it through. Again, using the veterinating needle, hook the hair and pass it through the loop. So we're doing a, uh, we're using the single knot method. So again, doing the same thing, pass the ventilating needle through one hole on the lace. Next, hook two strands of hair. Again, use the ventilating needle, hook the hair, and pass it through the loop. Making sure that when you're passing the hair through the loop, the root of the hair is properly secured. Okay, you want to make sure it's properly secured in place. Otherwise, you will end up having hair coming out of the other side of the lace. So you want to make sure that the knot is properly tied in place. Okay. So you can space out the hair by skipping every other hole, not lines. Don't skip any line, okay? To space out the hair, you need to skip every other hole. So that will help to give you that natural look on the, uh, on the lace. So as always, you want to make sure to take your time when ventilating the hair. It's not something you will rush. So the more time you give yourself to create your lace closure or lace uh, frontal, the more beautiful your, your wig will come out. The final result would be. So again, you need to take your time when creating your lace closure. So getting close to the front of the lace, you need to switch from two strands of hair to one strand of hair. So this will help to, uh, help to ensure that you have that natural looking hairline. And also for the hairline, you can skip either one hole or two, depending on how you full or how thin you want the front of your lace to be. So again, you can either skip one hole or two depending on how full you want the front of your wig or your the hairline of your wig to be Here is the final result of the crochet wig. Look at this. It looks so real. It looks so natural. Like, look at that. Look at this. I love it. And I can't, I can't wait to put this wig on. Like, seriously, I can't wait to put on this wig. <laughs> Okay guys, so we've come to the end of today's video. As always, if you find this video helpful, if you love the final result, 
all right give it a big thumbs up and if you're new to my channel please go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below if you already subscribed thank you so much for subscribing thank you so much for popping by today and i'll see you all in my next one